Under the setup menu, there are several items that you will find that will help you when configuring your system during an installation or before your project or show. These include the output port setup, the cascade setup, and the word clock setup. Let's take a look at those now. Let's start by touching on the setup icon. Here on the setup window, in the system setup section, we will find our output port setup, word clock setup, and cascade setup. Touch on the icon that says output port setup. On this window, we can make adjustments to the output ports which are connected to our CL console. You can choose any of the 64 Dante outputs, any of your three card slot outputs, your Omni outputs, or your two-track digital output. When one of those output buses is selected, you can delay that output port, change the polarity, and adjust the gain. When changing the delay, your delay scale can be configured by touching on delay scale in the upper right hand corner. Let's close this window and move to the word clock setup page. On your word clock setup page, you can choose what the source of the word clock for your console will be. You can choose internal 48K, internal 44.1, word clock input, the Dante network, both at 44.1 and 48K, or one of the card slots. The icons in the upper right are your indication on the quality of that clock that's coming into the console. If the signal is locked, you will see a blue icon. If the signal is locked but not in sync, you will see a yellow icon. Red means that that word clock signal is unlocked. If you have an MY16 card placed in one of your card slots and sample rate conversion is available, you can activate it in this portion here. Let's close this pop-up and move on to the cascade setup. On the cascade patch window, we can choose how signals will come into or leave our console via the cascade bus. This is perfect for those situations where you want to have two consoles act as one. Say for example, you want the signal from this console to go to another console through the stereo bus. Make sure you're looking at the cascade output patch, select the stereo bus, then choose which slot port that signal will be sent from. Using the cascade function is perfect for those situations where you have more than one console and you want them to act as one unit. 